Welcome back guys. A little bit of a technical malfunction occurred when I was recording the first portion of this video, so I lost probably about 15 minutes worth of footage. But anyway, welcome back to what is now the redone portion of episode 7. Um, so, in the portion that got corrupted, uh, I built this. Um, so this is going to be one of the pillars that is used. As you can see, it goes all the way up and supports the initial structure. Then the second portion, which I was building off camera, and I went to look at the footage, and I realized it was corrupted and not usable, is right here. So a little bit about what we're doing is we're just taking it all the way up, making it supported, and we're filling it in with crushed stone, so cobble and gravel, to make it look like we're just backfilling in an area that we put some supports to. So if we come over here to our lit up area, we can take a look at it. I, I like the way it looks. I know when we're walking down it's going to be a lot of straight up gray. But some torches will be up and it'll look nice and lit up. So the second one was done. Uh, to support it I put in some fence railings. I don't really know if I like them too much but for now I'm going to keep them. In turn, for here, I've decided I'm going to stick in glass coming down so we don't worry about falling over. Um, I'm not too sure how I'm going to approach the second side just yet, but maybe that's something we'll look at, or maybe we'll just put a swimming pool on the bottom, and if we fall, we fall. That's it. But to go back to doing off-camera work, what I'm planning on doing is building the bottom of the support and as I've been lighting up the cave system more and more units have been spawning in places where I would not necessarily have looked for them so one spawned up here and fell on me it was a creeper unfortunately and didn't cause much damage which was nice but it could very well have ended my life and potentially caused some structural concerns which is more of a problem for me but uh, with that in mind, we're going to head back off camera and we're going to tune in once I got a little bit of a platform built and some scaffolding so I can build up this portion and hopefully not worry about all of these guys. I might have to do something with them because Bowman will knock me off. Anyway, we'll be right back. Thanks, guys. Alright, we're going to be trying this once, once again. So like I was saying earlier, we've, we've had some issues with the software that we're using but I think we are good. I found a new one that I like to use at the moment so we're gonna keep going with that and hopefully it works. So the next couple episodes hopefully won't be too choppy. I will try to record some 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 footage by myself. Maybe I'll do some mining and then I'll kinda see how that looks, how that feels and just get a bit better at the editing so next video we don't have so many chops if you will. So what I'm doing right here is I'm just laying down the beam system that I'm going to use. I uh, haven't quite decided how I want that to look but I'm liking the cross section we got going on here where it just looks like large sturdy logs being laid down and so what I'm going to do is bring these across so let me get back up on this pre-built material here so let's see here so oops okay okay there we go just gonna stick this here and we're gonna do a wood beam across come on out a couple blocks here nothing crazy oop 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 bad so I built the platform so to avoid that kind of problem, uh, aka the fall. And so far, so good. It's working. Uh, if I needed to do anything else, I would have just poured water buckets down there. <laughs> and hopefully that would have been good enough to prevent the splat from happening. So this is what we're going to do. Keep falling off. Perfect. Okay. So, 
I like how that works, but what I'm going to do additionally is I'd like to extend it out again. So we can just quickly clean this up like that, like that, okay. Uh, I will have to clean this up for... Okay, there we go. There we go. And the last set will just hop up here. And perfect. All right, so now it looks like it's actually anchored in the wall, which is the, the, the definitely the feel that I'm going for. Uh, so this buffers up into the the wall, so we'll keep it going like so. I like that. That looks good to me. We don't fall down that hole. And let's move the rest of this across. So we'll hop up here. Insert this there. And then we have the last piece jetting into there. So we'll leave it there because I'm going to do glass in the middle here and that should suffice. So this is good. I like that. But we're going to do one more thing to make it a little bit better. And it's going to be right here. Actually, let's grab that. So I use the axe. It's going to be right here. And what we're going to do is like so. Like so. Um, I'm going to want to keep the wood stairs just in tucked like that. So we are able to keep a, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, like molding almost. Kind of what you see on people's floors, but we're going to have it a little bit done a little bit differently. So we're going to have this brought across. And it's going to join up right here, which is really nice. And it's going to look pretty fantastic. However, I am almost out of wood logs, so I'm going to have to go back and get some because this project is taking all my wood. So, like again, I'd like to apologize for the fact that the recording software today has been a little bit iffy. Uh, we're out. A little bit iffy. Um, I do want to eventually buy some I just also need to get a computer. <laughs> so it's kind of trying to balancing software versus also balancing a potential computer purchase as well as all of the other stuff I get to purchase in my day-to-day -day life. But that is really no consequence of you guys, and it's definitely not something that I'm going to continue to uh, gripe about. <laughs> just been a little bit of a frustrating process. But moving on. Uh, we're going to go over to the wood farm here. Hopefully we got some uh, logs already stored up. If not... We will chop a bunch down and then get back on to the building process. Uh, so next project I will be completing is the rest of the wood farm. I kind of left it to get the stairs done because the stairs done where you were really something that we needed to do because getting down here has been proving a little bit of a, a difficult situation. So we don't have any wood and we got to chop a whole, whole bunch down. So what I'm going to do is just grab a couple quick stacks. I don't think we need too, too much to finish the project, to be very honest. Uh, maybe one real quick stack, and then we're, we're good to go. So we'll just quickly chop it down. But anyway, guys, um, one thing I'd like to say is thank you very much for the support on the videos. It's very nice to uh, see somebody want to continue to watch them um, and I don't know, I'll take this time while we're, we're chopping having a little bit of a chat to talk a little bit about the next game that I'm going to be playing in conjunction with this on the channel I bought a game called 8-Bit Hordes and it was on sale on Steam uh, I love RTS games the very very first game 
I'll probably mention this when I play 8-Bit Hordes as well. Um, the very first game I ever played was Warcraft Orcs and Humans, and I think it was in 1993. I'm kind of dating myself here. But I love that game. I, I just love the whole, you know, commanding footmen, getting knights, catapults, you know, you know save the realm, <laughs> and all that good stuff. I really do enjoy that. I, I love the experience. I love getting progressive harder and harder missions. I love I love the whole the whole feel of that. Uh, we'll just grab uh, one more tree. This one will be very good. Yeah, I like that. I love that whole feel. I I, I just. I can't get enough of it. I love the story. I love the progression. I love getting involved, and and that's that's kind of why like that's my thing for video games. I just love being involved in them. So I will be playing that. Uh, that's really rough. Uh, I love playing them, and I'm also playing with uh, headphones on because I cannot hear anything else. So I really should have heard that creeper coming, but I did not, unfortunately. So what kind of time we got going on? Eight minutes, roughly speaking. I don't actually know how long this episode's going to be. It's really going to determine how much footage I have <laughs> available. I'll, I'll kind of see what's been corrupted and what's not been corrupted. If too much is not usable, we'll, we'll just make it really short and sweet. And if too much is, or if, yeah, too much is just absolute unusable, I gotta take off, unusable, then I will probably just do like a live, not a live stream, but a, a quick challenge for myself, see how much I can mine up in two hours or something, something just like that. And uh, we'll uh, stick some stuff here. Okay, good. Uh, I thought he was coming over. So, uh, is it one more over? Yes, it has got to be one more over. Okay, up we go. We'll just fill this in real fast. Almost done with the axe. Almost done. Okay. Excellent. I'm obviously not going to be keeping this uh, little platform that I've quickly created. I'm going to break it down and then reuse the uh, cobblestone from something else maybe smith it back into regular stone and actually have a build that's not <laughs> built out of detrius or I don't even know the good word for it <laughs> debris so uh, the only other thing I potentially want to do with this build is uh, clean this stuff up a little bit Yes, we're going to put some more stairs in. That is what we need to do. So, quickly just drop some stairs. Kind of like the way this is looking. Uh, we'll stick some stairs here. Wow, that did not turn out the way I wanted it. I have to go make myself a new axe very soon. Uh, so, stairs, stairs. Excellent. Just put stairs. Don't mind me, I really do need to get a uh, diamond pickaxe. So, no more of this chump change <laughs> iron. I think we can upgrade. So, the only other thing that, I keep, I say that a lot, to be very honest. And I mean a lot do I say that. So that's one thing I'm going to have to try to stamp out for everybody is how I bridge topics because I tend to say the same thing like six different times. Do I have any axes? No, I don't. So instead of me just running up, I'm going to have to punch this. Mmm. This is going to take a little while. Okay, yeah. You, we, we can just chalk this up to me being a baddie right here. 
This is atrocious. Okay. <laughs> sometimes stairs are cooperative, and sometimes they uh, are extremely frustrating to deal with. I don't know why that one went really, really well, and why I am seemingly having issues with this. So possibly I have to switch this here. There we go. That is the problem, and or was the problem. Hopefully this is now going to be fixed. Okay. Wow. This is annoying. you got to be kidding me. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 100% bad. There is no way to cross this up other than just being straight up atrocious. I might just retire. Okay, thank God. Or it's all it's done. There there is no more. There is there is no more. There is no more. So what I'm going to do is quickly go smelt some glass, and then I think we're going to be done for this episode. Um, been here for a little while. I've been at this a lot longer than everybody else gets to see as I've been trying to deal with the... Okay. And deal with the... Wow, I got I to... Gotta care of that that's really annoying where do you even come from uh this is annoying okay so yeah i've been at this for a long time today and i am getting a little tired of the recording so i'm just going to quickly try to finish this main staircase and then we can do the rest off camera. Of course, I'll show it to you. Um, it just though, I'm not really like duplicating too too much. That's not really relevant to anything other than the. Wow, this is annoying. Other than like, there's no point in, like me duplicating what I'm what I'm working on because it's all been done, right? We can like just generally guess that I'm going to be recopying this on this side, and it's going to look pretty fantastic. So while the glass is getting cooked, we're gonna kill that guy. I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna see I wanna see how this looks. You know, I am a pretty big fan of how that looking right now, to be honest. I'm not just saying that because I built it, but I do I do like it. Uh there's a couple things I probably am gonna have to change, unfortunately. Um uh, I don't necessarily like that there is no support for right here so along this lines so i'm gonna have to get back to you guys and pull some out <laughs> pull yeah there's just stuff everywhere now that things are really really getting lit up things are spawning in places that are not lit up and it's kind of hard to get on top of all of those uh yeah so i'm i'm gonna have to deal with that unfortunately because i'm not really enjoying the way that looks but I'm going to have to take care of that next episode. So we're just going to put this glass down. Hopefully the glass looks good. Else we're going to have to go find some some more stone. So we're just going to stick some glass there. Uh, glass here. Uh, glass there. Okay. I uh, will stick this piece here. We'll stick this piece here. So currently, I'd say I like the way the glass looks. We'll uh, get a view from underneath the bridge. Yeah, I think this looks good, actually. I really do enjoy that. So this needs to get fixed a little bit because from the other side, it'll be the same deal. Actually, maybe not. Because, hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm. 
I think I might have a solution. If I do this, okay. I do that. And connect it in. Then it looks to me like I have a anchored bridge system. And what I mean by that is we've just driven in another pylon to the the wall and we've connected it into the bottom. So let's just uh, stick one more here and one more here. And if I come over here and I leave it like that so there's no more tinkering. Let's move over here and check this out. This might be an actual solution that is very feasible. Yeah, I'm actually going to uh, I'm actually saying that I like that. Uh, I like that it looks sturdy. I like that it looks more than just one line. It looks like there is some depth to it. And what we can do is here, what we'll do is take this piece out. Actually, one sec. Before we do that. Boom. Okay. So we'll take this piece out. We'll drop it across. Not like that. So this piece will stay as is. What's underneath this? Just wood. Okay. Wood and wood. Okay. So some of it you're not gonna be able to see because it's obviously anchored into the anchored in. Actually, can you see that from the other side? Yes. So we'll have to fix this real quick. Bang. There we go. So that's done. And then we'll do another one here, I guess. Perfect. Okay. Straight out. All right. And the second one. Okay. Let's try this one. Boom. Okay. So we got three pieces left. This is what it looks like. Collect this back up. Excellent. Okay. So we'll try this one more time. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it looks good. Episode a little longer than expected. That's okay. Yes. I like that far more. I think that looks real good. And it will allow me to build. Can this guy get up? Uh, yeah, maybe. So that will allow me to build one pillar right here. So where's that cobblestone? Here we are. Okay. Yep. I really, I really enjoy the way that looks. It looks more trussy, more bridge-like to me. And it certainly looks a little bit more like what a bridge foundation system would look like. And I really, really enjoy that feel. As well as it's not completely perfect, it's more like we're burying ourselves into this cave and we can take over the world from here. But anyway, I'm going to call this episode here. I really do appreciate the people bearing with the technical difficulties. Hopefully we found a workaround so far, so good. And I really do appreciate it, like I said, like 600 times, but I truly, truly mean it, and I'm definitely conveying that to everybody. All right, guys, we'll be back next episode. This will be completed, the scaffolding will be gone, and we'll be on to something brand new. All right, guys, enjoy, take care of yourselves. Thanks so much.